Hi friends, you're watching Gate Helpline and in this video we will see 15 things you need before start filling Gate 2019 application forms. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel regarding Gate exam. Hi friends, before starting this video, the first question which came in our mind is why should we watch this video? And the answer is in Gate 2018 initially 856 application forms were rejected and later after correction 256 application forms were still rejected and you can check the reference link from gate 2018 website about the real stats of the rejected applications too so friends last year due to this problem many application forms were in scrutiny for long time also and we got many messages regarding the same so now if you watch this video till end we are sure that your application will be accepted. So friends, let's start this video. Friends, the first point here is personal information. Personal information includes name, date of birth, personal mobile number, parents name, parents mobile number, etc. Please note that the name of the candidate in the application form must exactly be the same as that in the qualifying degree certificate or the certificate issued by the head of the department institute in which the candidate is pursuing his or her study. Gate 2019 scorecard will be issued as per the name entered in the application form. Prefix titles such as Mr. Shri, Dr. Mrs. Srimati etc. should not be used before the name. So friends, this is the area provided for name, date of birth, mobile, parents name, parents mobile number. And if you have all this information, you can simply put here and after completing this information, you can put a tick mark in this checkbox. The next point is address for communication. That is address for communication including PIN code. So friends, this is the blank space where you need to write your permanent or residential address along with PIN code. So friend, after having this information, you can simply put a tick mark into this checkbox so that this information is also completed. So friends, the next point is degree details. That is the eligibility degree detail like BE, BTEC, etc. So, friends, here this is the blank area provided for you to write your degree name, branch, year of passing, marks obtained, and total marks. So, friends, a common issue which many gate aspirants are facing is that they are pursuing their MCA or MTech and they are confused that which degree details they must enter. So, friends, answer to this question is you can simply put your BE or BTEC degree details because you are having the degree certificate which you need to upload in the form later. So friends, after completing this information, you can simply put a tick mark here so that this information is also completed. So friends, the next point here is college name and address with PIN code. So friends, this is the space provided where you can write your college name, address along with the PIN code. And friends, one thing which you need to notice is your college name and address must be as per your degree details. So friends, whatever degree details you have provided, like whether it is BTEC or MTEC, you must write your college name and address as per your degree details. So friends, after completing this information, you can simply put a tick mark into this checkbox so that your this information is also completed. So friends, the next point is gate paper. That is your gate paper and subject code. So friends, this is the image provided where you can check your gate paper and its respective code. For example, Computer Science and Information Technology is the paper and CS is the code. So you need to write your paper code here and subject code here. And friends, you must enter correct paper code and subject in the application form because many times we are in hurry and select wrong drop down for the paper code and instead of our branch and paper code, we select other one. And friends, please note, you can't change your paper code later. So after filling this information, you can simply put a tick mark into this checkbox so that your this information is also completed. So friends, the next point is choice of gate examination city. That is the examination center city. So friend here, you need to write your local city where you want to give your gate exam. But friends, this is the list of zonal gate offices. That is gate has nine zones and the cities are divided into these nine zones only. So you need to check your tentative list of examination cities here and after that you need to check your city whether your city belongs to this list or not. If your city belongs to this list, you can simply select 
that city name here. Else, if your city name is not here, then you need to check the nearest city where you can reach easily for the gate exam. And after that, you need to write your city here. And once the city is decided, you can simply put a tick mark here so that your gate examination city is also confirmed. The next point here is high quality image of candidates photograph. That is high quality image of candidates photograph conforming to the requirements specified. A passport size 3.5 cm width and 4.5 cm height photograph. And the maximum size of JPG can be 480 cross 640 in pixels and the minimum size must be 240 cross 320 pixels. And the background of the photographs must be white or a light color which you can see in the sample photograph. Here you can see that all these three are having white or a light color background. And the other two conditions are 480 cross 640 in pixels is the maximum size and 240 cross 320 pixels is the minimum size. So friends, if you are from CS background, you can easily achieve these requirements. And friends, if you are not from CSE background, like you are from mechanical or electronics, then you can simply go to your CSE friends so that they can give you the JPG image in this configuration so that you can simply go and upload this image. So friends, the next sample is of the photographs which are rejected. That is, if you are having a smaller in size photograph, which looks like this, the next one is wearing colored glasses or sunglasses. The next one is having specs like this. The next one is having improper background. And the last one is also improper background. That is, you can see the backgrounds are having books and here, that photo is taken on the terrace. So both of these photographs are having improper background and the background must be white or light color. And this one here, the person is not looking into the camera. So this photograph is also not accepted. So if you are having any photograph which lies between these six, then your application will be rejected. So please make sure that your photograph lies between this sample. That is the accepted sample of photographs. So friends, after having the photograph, you can simply put a tick mark here into the checkbox so that this document is also completed. The next point is good quality image of candidate signature. That is good quality image of candidate signature conforming to the requirements specified. The requirement is for this you can simply draw a rectangular box of size 2 cm cross 7 cm that is height cross width on a A4 size white paper and then sign with black or dark blue pen within this box. After this, you can take a snapshot and take that image into the computer. And after that, the image maximum size must be 160 cross 516 pixels and the minimum size must be 80 cross 218 pixels. And friend, you can see this with the help of this image. So here the acceptable signatures are shown within the first first row and the unaccepted signatures are in the below row. So here you can see that 2 cm is the height and 7 cm is the width and the signature is within this box and if you are having signature in red color or out of the box or in capital letters then these signatures will not be accepted and your application will be rejected. So you must have signature within this box and the signature must look like a signature only. It can't be in capital letters. So friends after having a signature like this you can simply go to your CSE friend and have this image configuration as per the requirement specified. That is the maximum size must be 160 cross 560 and minimum must be 80 cross 218 pixels. And after having the, the signature, you can simply put a tick mark into this checkbox so that this document is also completed. The next point is scan copy of eligibility certificate. That is scan copy of the eligibility certificate in PDF format. So friends, this is the point which you need to note that is you need to upload the PDF format only and friends, the certificate which you want to upload must be the certificate which you have entered as the degree details. So friends, the first point here is degree certificate. Second one is provisional certificate. The third one is certificate from the head of the department or institute. So friends, if you have completed your degree and you are having the degree certificate, then you can upload the degree certificate. And friends, the second one is for those who have completed their BTA degree but not received the degree certificate. And the third point is for those which are pursuing their final year of BTEC degree. So they can take the certificate from the head of the department or institute. And the format is specified 
in, in, the, in appendix A of the information brochure which looks like this and after having this certificate you can simply put a tick mark here so that this information is also completed. The next point here is scan copy of category SCST certificate that is scan copy of the category SCST certificate if applicable in PDF format is required. The next one is scan copy of PWD certificate that is scan copy of PWD certificate if applicable in PDF format is required. The next one is scan copy of dyslexic certificate that is scan copy of dyslexic certificate if applicable in PDF format is required. So friends if you belong to any of these category then you must have this certificate because you need to upload these into your gate application and after completing these certificates you can simply put a tick mark in this checkbox so that your these certificates are also completed. So friends the next point is details of the valid identity document that is details of the valid identity document ID. The same ID in original should be carried to the examination hall. Valid identity documents includes passport, PAN card, voter ID, Aadhaar UID, college ID, employee ID and driving license. So friends if you have any of these you can simply take the original to the examination hall and if you don't have any of these then you must have one because you need any of these valid identity document at the time of examination because if you don't carry any of the identity document then you won't be allowed to give the exam. So you must have any of these identity document and after having this you can simply put a tick mark into this checkbox so that this document is also completed. So friends please check carefully for any errors in the data entered in the application form. Once the candidate clicks submit and proceed to payment button no further changes to the application can be made. And friends for your simplicity and convenience the PDF of this video is provided in the description. From that link you can download this video as a checklist and prepare the information and documents before filling the gate application. So friends the last point is net banking debit card credit card details for fee payment. And you can have any of these details like net banking debit card credit card details for attention free fee payment because after fee is paid the status update takes some time and friends after having these details you can simply put a tick mark here in this checkbox so that your fee is also paid and friends these were few points from our side we hope you like our video and for any other query please comment below so friends thanks for watching our video please like subscribe and share our videos to appreciate our work if you have any doubt or question please comment below